Hello Perfect Beauties, my name is Daisy and today I'm gonna share with you guys five ways to get anything that you want in your life. Don't think your skin, think vanish. Do you guys remember the New Year's resolutions you made in the beginning of the year? Mm -hmm. What happened to that list of your resolutions? We gotta bring it back up because Resolution isn't just January 1st. <laughs> Resolutions happen every single day, every single minute, and every single minute of your life is the time you could be working on making sure you're on track with those resolutions. Just a few of my accomplishments, and this isn't to brag, but it's just, I feel like I have achieved a lot for somebody under 30. I was recently named Forbes 30 under 30 in manufacturing. I went to you know a top 10 university. I graduated in three years instead of four. Um, I am a homeowner and I've just done a lot of things that I feel like people who aren't 30 yet ha haven't done. And again, my success and what I've done doesn't define who I am. That's not the case, but I feel like I'm pretty good at setting a goal and getting to what I want to get to. The entire feedback in my entire life, um, from my friends to my family to even personal relationships, every single person has said that if I want to achieve something, I get it, like no matter what. And it has come at a price, I will say, but I have been able to achieve goals and I'm very, very goal oriented. I think that's my best attribute actually. If like, I set my mind to something, it will happen. And there's been like no doubt <laughs> about it. So. I wanna share with you guys five tips on how to get anything that you want or how to achieve whatever it is that you wanna achieve. The five things is prioritizing, patience, scheduling, focus, and saying no or discipline. I'm just gonna set this in terms of trying to lose weight, but this you can set it in terms of whatever goal that you have, but it just might be easier to use examples in terms of like how to achieve these goals. So the first thing is to prioritize. So whenever you're achieving something, I feel like we are human beings, we only have 24 hours in a day. We have as much time as Beyonce does, okay? So you've seen Beyonce achieve a lot in her life and you see what have you achieved in your life, right? And she has the same amount of hours you do. She wasn't given like extra hours in a day. So I feel like the reason why she's so successful is because she just really prioritizes and focuses on what makes her Beyonce, right? And so if you want to do something like lose weight, you have to really prioritize that in your schedule. That might be like making sure Sure that at every day you have worked out for at least an hour or that you devote time into um, working out or eating healthy. It doesn't mean you should try to do everything. It doesn't mean you should try to be perfect, but it should mean that you're prioritizing that goal. And the thing I see with a lot of women, especially because I am in a lot of business groups with a lot of successful entrepreneurs and very few of them are women, I see that women, we're so concerned with making things perfect. We're so concerned with being perfect. We want to get our nails done and our eyelashes done and our hair done and we want to look perfect and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, sometimes that's not our priority. Looking perfect isn't our priority. So for me, because I'm so busy, I'm always wearing gym clothes no matter where I am because it's just super easy for me to get to the gym instead of worrying about what I'm wearing. And when I'm wearing gym clothes, I can move around really fast and it's really comfortable and I can sleep in my gym clothes and I can move around in my gym clothes. I don't prioritize looking good all the time. I don't wear makeup most of the days because it's just not a priority I have. But other priorities I have is like fitness, right? I'm working on my business, things like that. And so you have to realize that some things will have to be compromised in order for you to achieve your goal. And it's okay for everything not to be perfect and it's okay for things to be a little bit chaotic. It's okay for things to be a little bit disheveled and disorganized, but just realizing you really need to focus on what's important, not trying to focus on trying to do everything all at once and pleasing everybody. Number two secret is you have to schedule. What gets scheduled gets done. So I remember when I was a college student and I was like overloading and I was so stressed out with all the projects I had, an advisor told me to take a calendar and and to take those calendars that have hour slots and schedule every single hour, schedule every single half hour, and you'd be amazed at how much time you actually have to work on certain things. So what gets scheduling gets done. If you're gonna say, I wanna work out five times a week, you can't just like say that. You have to like actually put it on your calendar and make it like a repeating thing so that way you know at 8 a.m. Monday morning you were scheduled to work out. So if you're not there, you know that you have not achieved what you said you were gonna do. So. If you want to lose weight, for example, and if you want to go to the gym, you need to schedule those gym times. And for me, something that has really helped is 
I purchase gym classes. I don't get a trainer. I know some people will spend money to get a trainer to make sure they're accountable to go to the gym. I just buy gym classes and if I don't show up, those classes are forfeited. So for me, putting money where my mouth is will get me to go to those classes. But you know, telling somebody you're gonna be somewhere or even having it in your schedule and calendar will hold you accountable. So make sure whatever it is that you're working on, people wanna be a better spouse or a better um, relationship partner. You know, schedule date nights on your calendar. You know, go through and you know, schedule date nights every Friday or something and schedule it and don't change it. Don't reschedule it. That time is your time for you and your partner to really rekindle the romance, right? And if it's important to you, number one, prioritize, then you'll not change it and you'll follow through with it. Number three is patience. Now, patience is something I'm not very good at. <laughs> I need to work on patience a lot more. I'm kind of like, a, I want this, I want this, I want this. And I feel like that's gotten me to where I am, but I also need to be a little bit more patience for certain things I cannot control all the time. So for patience, I would say, don't expect results after you know day one. Just keep working on it, keep focusing on your goal, keep working on your scheduling, and eventually you're gonna see results. But don't give up if you don't see results right away. For example, you know if you wanna cut a habit, like if you wanna stop drinking soda to lose weight, and you, know, you, you try it for a week and you haven't lost any weight, don't think like, oh my God, I need to stop because it doesn't work. No, you have to keep going with it. Things take time and there's kind of like a compound effect where like in the beginning of whatever you're trying to change or any kind of habit that you're trying to instill, the beginning is really hard, but then the more you do it, the easier it gets and it just kind of like dominoes into this effect of like you being like super good at it. So just remember in the beginning, it's like always the hardest. There's always the hardest learning curve, right? Your body is adjusting, whatever it is, is adjusting. But then the more and more and more you do it, you're gonna see results. Like I feel like it's kind of like if you're wanting to run or train for a marathon, Again, the first day you go out there and you're running after having not run for a long time, of course it's gonna hurt, you're gonna feel like shit and crap, but the more you run and the more you run and the more you run, by day 100 of your training, it's just gonna be like a piece in the cake and it's just gonna be so much easier. So you really have to have patience. The next tip is focusing on yourself. Now, I am on social media because that's where my business is, that's where a lot of like my business advisors and people are, but I, sometimes get distracted and I will like see how well someone else is doing or I'll see what someone else is doing or I'll see someone is here or someone is there and I will compare my life to theirs and I'll be like, why is my life so sucky in comparison? Like, why do I suck? Why is it this? Why is it that? And I will just get in this negative spiral of why I don't have certain things and that is just a huge waste of energy and time because you have to realize on social media, everyone's can present the best version of themselves. And I feel like there should be a social network where you're comparing like the worst of everyone's life because I think you'd feel a lot better about your life because you want what people are posting on social media, but you don't know what they're going through in order in order to live that kind of life. So just focus on yourself, focus on your own goals. You know, If you see your friend on Instagram shedding 10 pounds in one week and you're not, and you're struggling, don't worry, it takes time. Focus on yourself and your own goals. I remember starting this YouTube channel, it was like one of the hardest things I've ever done. I was wondering why my video's not getting views, why you know, why is this person's videos going viral, why is it so hard for me to get subscribers and views and blah, blah, blah. And I just stopped looking at other people's channels because I was just comparing myself and I just kept making consistent content every single day or week and really scheduling out time to doing that and prioritizing that in my schedule. And before you know it, you know, my channel grew and now it's just growing faster and faster and faster. And so just focus on yourself. Don't compare yourself to other people. And the last tip is to say no. <laughs> Saying no is also, you know, a form of discipline. Again, you can't do everything. You can't be everything to everybody. And for me in the past year or so, I have, you know, I don't wanna say I've lost a lot of my friends, but a lot of my friends have disappeared. And I realize it's just cause me and my friends, we don't have the same goals anymore. I don't have energy to like just go out and like waste time. There needs to be like a point and a purpose to doing everything. I say no to a lot of like festivals and things. Like I just don't like them. Like there's just too many people, too crowded, all that kind of stuff. And I say no to a lot of events, speaking opportunities, conferences, et cetera, et cetera, because I have found that they do not serve the priorities that I have. And it's okay to say no. I can't be everything to everybody. I used to say yes, yes, yes all the time. And now I've learned to say no, because for every no that you say, you open up, you know, 
ability to focus on your yes. Again, we don't have unlimited time. Every day we have to constantly juggle and do trade-offs and you know, certain things aren't just worth the time and energy for them. And an example is like sometimes I will say no to certain things in order to say yes to other things. So I am a, I'm a pretty big like fitness freak. I, I, uh, I would say hobby other than like working on the business and reading books, <laughs> reading business books, anything business related I love. But I love working out, I love like fitness. Um, I feel like it gives me like a mental clarity and it gives me like, it's like almost like my meditation in a way to like process what has happened through the day. I will prioritize my fitness classes over certain things that, you know, if, if, if a friend's like, hey, you wanna grab dinner at 6 p.m. and I have, you know, a fitness class that, you know, gets super waitlisted all the time with a super big name instructor, I'd be like, nope, sorry, I have plans, which I do. Like, my fitness is my priority, so I have to, I'm gonna go to my class. Now, does that mean I might not be the best friend? Yes, and that is a choice I have to make, and there's always trade-offs in life, and that's the thing, you can't be everything to everybody, but, to me, my health and my fitness is more important than where I believe this friendship will lead to, right? So that's just like kind of where I am. So I very much value my time. I treat it like a shrine. I make sure that nothing gets in the way of my time. And that is really how I prioritize my goals and you know the goals of my life <laughs> to get to where it is that I want to. And I realize like because I'm obsessed with Beyonce, I realize she doesn't do many interviews. She doesn't do a lot of like appearances. She doesn't do a lot. I feel like there's a certain artist who do a lot and are everything, but Beyonce is really focused in her performance and her as an artist and the way she is perceived. And so that's why she probably says no to all these interview opportunities because she just wants to focus on what it is that she wants to focus on and be known for. So it's again, it's okay to say no to certain things and it's okay not to be perfect all the time. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope these five tips help you to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life. Comment below to see what other videos you want me to make and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.